Hey there, my name's Colin Newell, and I'm an amateur radio operator, VA7WWV. Licensed for almost a decade and active in shortwave radio and DXing for almost 45 years. I've come to know a thing or two about radios, transceivers, antennas, and the infrastructure associated with the ham radio hobby. Way back in the day, it was not uncommon for radio hobbyists to build all their own gear. Heathkit, for instance, was one of the most successful kit manufacturers for the radio hobbyist community. And here in 2020, if you take a gander at eBay, you'll see that the legacy of Heathkit is well entrenched and here to stay, at least in the used market. For the brave among us, there's also DIY or build-it options for radio hobbyists, Elecraft being one. There is, however, one constant that has followed us through the years, and that is the subject of the radio antenna. It's entirely possible that outdoor radio antennas for HF specifically are the single broad gulf that many hobbyists cannot seem to bridge. And that is a shame, actually, because to miss it on the world of HF radio over one particular issue is to bypass an aspect of ham radio op operating that is, in my honest opinion, among the most exciting. And in my years as a radio enthusiast, I've used dipoles, loops, random wires, and even base-loaded verticals. Google search of any of these topics will yield an afternoon's worth of reading, so get out there and find out. And despite all this, the backyard being big enough to build anything, and particularly in my case, my discovery of the broadband and, and fed antenna by myantennas.com was something of a lifesaver. For starters, my area of interest in the HF bands runs from 80 meters, 3.5 megahertz, to 10 meters, 28 megahertz, and having half-wave dipoles for all these different frequency bands or, or purpose-built vertical antennas for each band was simply out of the question. MyAntennas.com to the rescue. Their single wire 80 to 10 end fed antenna comes in at around 130 feet. And I know what you're thinking. Wait, you ask, where am I going to find 130 feet of space? Worry not. I don't have 130 feet of straight space in my backyard. What I do have is 90 feet in one direction and 70 in another and so on. And the MyAntennas.com end fed does not particularly care if it runs in one direction wholly. At least that's what I found. For all intents and purposes, it's omnidirectional. It doesn't much care if it has a few bends in it. A little bit of vertical air and some space to breathe is pretty much all it needs. That and a good ground and a feed line not too far from your shack and you're good to go. As my video and quick paper drawing illustrated, my entire installation is attached to a bamboo pole and a couple of military surplus fiberglass tent poles, the tent poles being 26 to 28 feet above ground. And if you look closely, you'll see small brass marine pulleys where the antenna wire is pulled through with sections of isolated wire going back to the poles as a form of counterbalance. And this way, in strong winds, the counterweights flex and rebalance themselves as necessary. In a perfect world, the MyAntennas.com antennas need little in the way of tuning. They're resonant pretty much in all the right places, just as the documentation states, but I tend to run an auto-tuner just in case. My two primary rigs, the Kenwood TS480SAT and the ICOM 703 Plus, well, they have no problem covering all the frequencies of interest from 3 MHz to 30 MHz. Power rating is 1,000 watts. I've never run more than 100 watts to it. And with my somewhat kinked layout, I've had no trouble working all continents on single sideband and CW. And I've gotten into Japan running less than a watt using some of the digital modes. How fun is that? I've been using this particular MyAntennas.com antenna for three years now without a single failure or break in the wire. The product feels solid, it's very reasonably priced, and deserves a look. And from those brave individuals who are thinking just a little bit about high-frequency radio, this could be the antenna for you. For the DXer.ca website, I'm Colin Newell.